I don't know why I just drank that. That was from, that was from last night. <laughs> My sister-in-law, Boyana, is currently on a call out in the kitchen. Ask me how badly I want to put this mask on and walk behind her Zoom. Please heal me. Ugh. Oh, you're off the call. I was so hoping that I might sneakily pop up behind <laughs> your Zoom. That is an incredible, incredible mask. Thank you. Well, hello, good morning from Toronto. <laughs> We are here for the week. We have many exciting things happening this week that I'm excited to show you guys what's 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 coming up. And I'm here from last week when I was in New York and I'm not gonna lie, I just I just had a little sicky weekend. I'm coming out on the other side, but if you're wondering why my voice sounds like this, your girl got a little sicky sick and I just had to take a day this weekend. Hot dog, oh baby, but I'm feeling so much better. So much better this morning, thank goodness. Because we have too much to do, we have too much to talk about and I can't afford to be KO'd in bed, okay? Not today. And to aid in my recovery and soothing, I'm just putting a mask on this morning while I get my thoughts together and get ready. Um, but very excited to be here. I love every time we come to Toronto. It always feels so good to be back. And naturally, as per usual, I'm gonna bring you along. So this morning, just gonna have a little moment. I really desperately need to have a computer moment on this fine Monday morning while doing my mask and having my coffee. And I also just wanted to say that, as always, Cult Beauty is being a dream boat. And I've been working with them for so long. This portion of the video is really very kindly sponsored by Cult Beauty. And they're currently having one of their biggest sales of the year. And for my friends across the pond, and in other lands who weren't able to shop the Sephora sale, Cult Beauty has allowed me to pick some of my top favorites, some of my top beauty picks from the Cult Beauty website and put them on a separate landing page. And on any of those products, you can shop my favorites and get an extra 25% off using the code ALANACB. So it's a little bit of an extra bump from the usual discount that my code usually provides on Cult Beauty, but I got to select my top picks, my fave faves in skincare, beauty, all of the above for an additional 25% off. So you must believe that I'm gonna be using that and stocking up my masks. I need to, clearly, I need to get my <laughs> glow recipe cleansers. Oh my word. And I'm going to be doing my own restocking. So for those of you who are looking for an extra hot, extra spicy discount, you can use that discount code until November 15th. So it's short and sweet. It's a hot little flash sale. I'm going to link the page below to my favorites. And thank you so much to Cult Beauty for that. 25% is huge. So Bless. So my friends, good morning to ye. I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'll get back to you in a hot minute when we head to a very exciting appointment this morning. I need to know if anyone else does this. Whenever I'm done the first wave of my coffee, I keep the pod in the coffee machine and I just run it again. I run it again and have a little refill. Please tell me I'm not alone. For my coffee lovers, I'm sure you're horrified by this, but it's great and it just rewarms it, you know? It brings more heat. Ugh. I look so... LOL. Anyway, okay, you guys, today is a very exciting day. This is something that you have all been screaming at me for so long. I know that many of you really dislike the, <laughs> the color analysis video that I did before. I went and did a color analysis in person in Vancouver, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. I did have a little bit of a remnant fake tan on. It was also in the summertime, so I probably had more of my natural shimmer tint on my skin. Um, a lot of you guys just didn't like the results of that, and in the months that had followed since, so many of you have screamed at me, screamed at me, saying to go to Carol Braley, okay? So at the time I was like, okay, I'm happy to do this. I sent a little email and I was like, hello, can I please do a, a virtual thing? And she was like, LOL, we're booked up for 12,000 years, good luck. And I was like, can I pay for a rush appointment? And she's like, LOL, no. Totally fine, I accept. Uh, so I just thought to myself, the next time that I come to Toronto, I will go see her in person because she's based here. So today we are going and I have booked my appointment. I'm super excited. I had to send photos in ahead of time and we're going to Carol Braley and we're gonna redo the color analysis for all of you. And it's perfect because I am so pale. I have a fresh toner in my hair that is much closer to my natural skin. What? My natural hair color? What am I saying? <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> and we're gonna finally put this to rest, okay? So for all of my color analysis gals out there, this one's for you. So the requirements of the appointment and why I'm looking so delightful right now is she said to keep your hair up. The bangs are just not banging right now, guys. I can't do my normal slick bun, so I feel like I'm just gonna keep my hair on the top of my head and just accept that. She said I have to wear white, so I have my little Suzanne white tank top on, and I have to go makeup free, and my zit is just gonna be shining in the light, so. 
that's all fine and dandy. Oh, I also just kept all my jewelry off so that I wouldn't be swayed by anything I'm wearing. So I have no rings on, I have no gold, no silver. We're just going bare and we're gonna see what the color analysis. Whoa, sorry. We're gonna see what the color analysis says. I feel so naked without all my rings. So everybody, we're here with Elise. And she's gonna be telling us what, oh, oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, yes. So each process that we have for the three steps, the first one's gonna be our undertone, finding if we are cool or if we are warm. Then we go on to seeing in between the four season palette. So if we need warm, we're gonna go in between our autumn and our spring palette. I should show this. Yeah. <laughs> and then if we lean cool, we're gonna be in between our summer and our winter palette. Okay. I think the previous one, oh no, I'm blanking out, but I think she told me I was a deep autumn. Oh, I'm a deep autumn. <laughs> that is very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Was it soft? Oh, shoot. I'd have That's to go back okay. and look. Either way, it was in the autumn category. Gotcha. And everyone says, I'm spring or summer. <laughs> I would say you are going to be very true to your colors. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so for context, beforehand, I had to send photos in, which were really, really deeply attractive, might I add. And so you guys have done a pre-analysis yes. to this, right? So essentially what this uh, course kind of is, is just seeing the fabrics on the actual clients. Mm -hmm. We do everything all online. You know, Carol and Karen will get on together, seeing where their palettes are. They send me, is this what you think as well? Mm -hmm. Do you think they're another palette? It. From there, we all d agree or disagree on some things, and then we just complete what was really to your home season. Okay, amazing. So now we get to see everything physically yeah. as like the extra check, even for ourselves. Okay. Even though we previously have done the color analyzing, we still like to see, you know, maybe the photos weren't as accurate and it could be totally different. Yeah. So awesome. I have something in mind okay. Okay. of our result, okay. but <laughs> I'm going to still do a full color analyzing. Beautiful. So we have our cool palette underneath. And then we have our warm. Oh wow, that's a neat and day difference. Uh, I mean, you I saw like that this too, one. Yeah. right? <laughs> so here we can see you. We're not getting a bobblehead effect. We're not feeling a disconnection or a floating head effect as we mm -hmm. call it. Well, when I put this one on. I just feel like it's sick. Right, sickly. you look you look more pale. Yeah. I'm seeing green and blue coming mm -hmm. all the way here from blending into a shadow and creating even more of like a puffier effect to your face. Mm -hmm. When really you have a very circular, beautiful face. <laughs> Perfect, back to normal. But it's always a saying that we say, like you know your colors without knowing because there's always that one top, that one dress that you wear and everybody's like, Wow, you look freaking great. Yeah. Like that color, that outfit is amazing on you. And you're mm -hmm. like, thank you. Yeah. And then you pick the opposite from that color and you wear that the next day. You're like, why do I look sick? Why do yeah. I feel sick? Yeah, totally. So we always say, you know without knowing sometimes. Mm -hmm. So this one, when I put this up, your eyebrows disappear, hmm. is what we say. Okay. So sometimes when that happens, the pigment of like our color in our hair, when our undertones know that there's a color that's not to our undertone, it kind of fluctuates and doesn't know what to do. So that's why we'll get a lot of rosacea, mm -hmm. green or yellow pigments in random areas. And in this case, when I remove it, focus on how bold and how much more we can see mm -hmm. you from this color. Hmm. Right? It was like the invisible cloak with the eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, and I, I don't even know, like, what is this color? This is a cool red. A cool true red. cool red. Okay, yeah. Okay, which would be what I would go for in a lipstick, but yes. I, I don't, like, own clothing of oh, that color. Red. I wish I could be a navy gal. You're probably gonna tell me it's right, but I, I always feel weird. <laughs> you always feel weird? Maybe it's not the right navy mm -hmm. you need. But in this case, compared to the green and the blue, is much better yeah yeah here I'm actually getting a mattifying effect mm -hmm. when I put this over you have such glossy smooth skin mm -hmm. here I'm getting that bloating underneath here mm -hmm. but even because of the matte effect what happens it almost feels like everything's a two-dimensional and a three-dimensional mm -hmm. so right there you know no glowing skin beautiful glowing skin interesting so, so hmm. you're for sure a cool undertone so this one is actually giving that matte effect. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it. Like as soon as we put this on, that shadowing comes in really, really, really bold. And even underneath, and then we remove it. 
the skin is glowing, mm -hmm. where it can see you before seeing this color. The only thing I would say with this is that it's giving a lot of shadowing mm -hmm. and it's actually making your face even wider than mm -hmm. it should be. Mm -hmm. The one underneath, when I remove it quickly, a lot more inclined to seeing you to the seeing a color that's giving you a disconnection mm -hmm. when you're so much more online than this connection. Okay, this is a really deep purple, royal purple we have here. This one's so much better. Yeah, this you is, can see this it. is the one like ooh. lavender, yeah. lilac, purple. This mm -hmm. is a gorgeous color. Yeah, I love you? this Your one. Your eyes popped. Oh, okay, so yeah. So one of the things we call it analyzing, it can actually make our teeth whiter mm. and the eyes of our lighting <laughs> whiter. I know, it's so weird. Okay. So, if you smile and... <laughs> I can't. That was this perfect. angle is so horrific. I'm like, <laughs> amazing. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> nope. No bueno. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I love this color. Gorgeous. I don't know if it makes me look like a sick nurse. I look like a nurse right now, but <laughs> they do like say that old. everybody sees this. It's like a scrub at the dentist mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. at the nurse. Totally. Yeah. Well, at least you can rock it. Heal a man's <laughs> heart or a woman's heart, you know? Amazing. Love this green. I can say it's just this one's better. Oh, this one. okay. Wow. Know. Interesting. Only because when I put this one over, your eyebrows disappear. Your okay. eyes get smaller, if anything. You have very big eyes, mm -hmm. and we're getting that shadow effect again. Okay. So when I remove it, so much more inclined to seeing you than we're seeing a color that's giving us a disconnection. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are not a winter. You are leaving more summer. <laughs> Yay! This is like a dusty pink, and then we have the light pink. A baby, 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 baby pink. You're like, no. I, I feel, I do feel like my lips disappeared. Right, your <laughs> lips disappeared, your eyes got smaller, and your eyebrows disappeared. Mm -hmm. It's like we have an invisible cloak your entire yeah. body. Yeah, yeah, And then when I remove it. No, it actually looks like you just wiped something on my mouth. Right, that's I crazy. Just, a little bit of gloss or some lipstick, yeah. and it comes all back. Yep. Wow, even your cheeks here. Just one more, gone. It's so bad. She's here. Yeah. That's a tough one for me. I don't uh, know. Because yeah. you like this color. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So this is a summer silver. And this is a winter white silver. Yeah, that like hurts me. Yeah, right. It's Blinding. painful. Blinding. Like it's like opal. It's opal. Yeah. No opal. Yeah. Beautiful. She's an antique girl. Okay. <laughs> so apparently I'm a true summer. I'm having a hard time with this one, guys. I am. A few of those purples, I was like, no! <laughs> Okay, so just finished. And I honestly love that they gave me a little palette to take away and then a little, I have a little travel book. So they put a bunch of swatches of a bunch of the true summer colors in here so that when I go shopping, I can like hold it up and find something. So you best believe I'm about to make this my entire personality and go and try and see what pieces I can find. Maybe I can get some like colorful sweaters to match these tones. I feel like that would be fun. A few like main takeaways she said with the uh, true summer is that it's silver jewelry, which I was like, lol, um, I used to have a silver engagement ring and I literally changed it to gold. I only wear gold jewelry. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, it's silver. And I was like, perfect. Um, she also said that true summers can't do white and black, which is also my entire wardrobe. But that also might be why I feel a little bit weird whenever I wear, like even this, now that I'm staring at it, I'm like, this is better, isn't it, than that. She said that my white is an ivory, a true ivory. Uh, she also said that my outfit is like my perfect colors, which I agree, and that's why ever since I got this jacket, I have lived in nothing else since, um, and I feel really comfortable in really soft grays like this. Um, and she said that my jeans even were like a kind of more of a gray versus a black. They're like a really washed, washed out black. Um, and she said that that was like perfect. I was like, amazing. But maybe that's also why I've never felt comfortable whenever I wear like a black suit. I just feel like it's a little, eh. So those more like kind of washed out colors are great. But I don't know what to make of that for like my white shirt life. She was like, lol, yeah, that's ivory. So uh, she also gave me a few pointers to consider when I'm doing my makeup, kind of consider any of the silvery glitters, more of a true pearl and like pewter. I'm gonna have to just like dive into the color pewter because that was like a main color that they listed on here. And then kind of like the dusty pinks, the dusty roses. She said to consider brown or gray mascara, which I already do, which is so interesting. And she said to stay away from black eyeliner. I was like, girl, I'm already there. So it is cool to just see that 
again even though I felt the same way when I did this the last time when I was diving into the autumn colors. Like, I feel like because they predetermined what my season was, they kind of catered it towards that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take a moment. I'm gonna have to digest the true summer analysis and we'll see what we can find. It was very interesting. So interesting to see how different the result was as well. Um, but I also went in fully with no makeup and just my pale self. So you'll have to let me know what do you guys think of the true summer result. Now Dan and I are gonna go eat because we haven't eaten yet today and I'm starving. I'm starving. There's a new Earl's on King Street. It is so beautiful. The way they've decorated this place. Oh, so nice. Uh, we're gonna feast. Feast. You know guys, I don't know how this bang life is working out for me. It's really, it's something. Anyway, we just finished lunch. <laughs> and around the corner is a crumble. It's Monday, there's new flavors. Uh, you just have to have a little dessert. You have to have a little sweet treat after you eat a very salty meal. Okay, so we're gonna go see. If there's a lineup, we're not going. If there isn't, <laughs> we are going. It is a Monday afternoon. Why is there a lineup? <laughs> Sorry guys, it's a hard no. Ugh, maybe it's on Uber Eats. Maybe we can order it for delivery. Sorry, we just walked by a Lululemon on the way home and there's so many sale racks. It's like a Lululemon pop-up. Um, and I just held my little color tag thing and picked up a few things from the men's section in a fabulous blue that apparently is my color, so. Ooh, my hair is washed. I've got a little curler and it feels so nice, but unfortunately my nose has reached the flaky point. I am just flaking all over here. Uh, but we had a really nice sleep in this morning and went to bed pretty early last night. I just needed that. I needed to get over that final wave. While I was rotting this morning, I was sitting there Googling and searching up all of the true summer color palettes and makeup products and any clothing recommendations, all that good stuff. And I was kind of feeling a little bit sad and I feel like I need your guys' thoughts because you were so kind and chimed in so thoroughly the last time I did this. And I have a question for you because with my eyes, my eyes have many different colors in them, okay? I've got like a, a gray blue rim around the edge and then the inside is like a dark green, a light green and some orange and brown. So I think for me, whenever I'm like getting dressed and considering what colors look best on me, I think that's maybe why I resonated so much when she gave me the autumn season the first time around. It's because I love green. Like I love wearing green, like really nice light sage greens. I feel like suit me so much. I love to wear a deep green. Like I have some green pieces of knitwear and like a jacket that I just love to wear. And every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, I just feel like it brings out the green in my eyes. But when I wear these like true summer cool tones, if I wear like a gray or like an icy blue, something like that, I feel like it brings out that like teal and grayness in my eyes. So is it possible, is it possible to be both? You guys can scream at me, you can say no. But I was just wondering if there's any possibility of just like being in between because I do feel so lovely whenever I wear my cool tone colors. You guys know I love my cool tone pinks, my blushes. Like, hello, let us never forget the Sephora number 13 Sephora cream lip stain days. Okay, I feel like those mauve colors like sing to my soul and I know that. However, I also feel equally fabulous in those like true autumn colors. I will say though, I do feel very differently whenever I have a tan. And I think that's why like, hello, I created an orange blush. Like the fact that my true summer season is telling me that like Picante is the absolute nemesis to my color palette. I'm like, surely that can't be true. Surely we can like flittle and float between two different ones. You know what I'm saying? Someone back me up here. Also, if I were to choose like what colors to emphasize in my eyes, I would choose to emphasize the green. And when I wear these cool tone colors, it doesn't do that. It makes my eyes like look more blue, which is not accurate. <laughs> or it's half accurate, I guess. Anyway, those are my thoughts this morning. Please let me know your feelings about it. Um, am I still gonna make it my entire personality? Yes, I am. And I do have a shopping list of all the things that I'm gonna go buy to try and dress like my true summer. <clears throat> say diagnosis. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, one of the good examples that pops up on TikTok a lot is the Emily D. Oh, what's her last name? D. Donato. Emily D. Donato. D. Donato. I'm so sorry, but she's a fabulous model. If you're a millennial like I, you recognize her face. She is absolutely gorgeous. And I guess she did a color analysis 
came out that she was a summer as well. And a lot of the color analyzing gals on TikTok use her as an example. And the like colors that she puts on, the clothing, the makeup, like it does look so nice and I love that. But she also has like very icy blue eyes. So I feel like that's pulling out the blue. Whereas though I feel like I do look good in those colors for sure, especially when I'm pale, it doesn't emphasize the green in my eyes. And that's what I like to bring out. And those are like some of the colors that I feel the best in. Like not having any green in my color palette, in my season palette is like crazy to me. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Like you can wear whatever you want. That's so fine. <laughs> It's a fun thing to do. It's a fun thing to consider whenever you're looking into buying new things. Um, it's a helpful guide if you're a little bit lost and trying to figure out what colors look best on you. But at the end of the day, it's not like set in stone. You must only live this way. But I did find the true summer a little bit. I don't know, I'm a little surprised by some of them. Anyway, do you guys think I need to get a third opinion? Because technically I've now done this twice and I got two wildly different results, Deep Autumn and True Summer. Is this accurate? Do I need to go to Korea and do what all of the, the TikTok gals are doing? Let me know, <laughs> because you guys know I would do it for the plot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, anyway, that's all. Thank you so much. Please sound off below if you guys have had a similar issue that I have in doing your color analysis, please also let me know. I'm gonna whip up my makeup real quick, drink my coffee, and we're gonna head out to a little media preview this morning. <laughs> My fairy godmother turn. <laughs> Hi, coffee. Hi, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my Uber. I have a call next and then another meeting following that. Nice, busy day. Beautiful sunshine, and I am blowing away. <laughs> What a day. Oh my. I am, you know, when you just, I am so tired. <laughs> it's so funny because Dan and I ran into Aritzia. He wanted to get another one of the hoodies because I bought the size largest for us to share, have a family communal hoodie, you know, but Dan doesn't love oversized the same way that I do. So we went in to buy a size medium. Sweet Angel, who was at Aritzia, said hi. She said she's the follower. I was like, what's up, girl? So nice. This was last night, by the way. Sorry. I had apologized to her because I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like coming out of my weekend of having a cold like don't mind my my red flaking nose whatever and she's like oh no problem haha <laughs> aren't you always sick and I was like you're not wrong you're not wrong um but I mean like she was so nice it was so cute thank you so much for saying hi also to Jazz who also said hi ever oh just so nice I love meeting y'all in real life because it it's such a bizarre thing like I sit here and talk to myself on the camera and then it's always a, a strange moment like reading comments and I'm like oh people people watch this right that's so interesting um so when I get to meet you in real life it's always nice I feel like we're it's, it's good people we're a good crew here on the side of the web. Anyway, I've been thinking about it ever since that happened last night and I was like, huh, you're so right. Like the way, like, I don't know the last time I've spent more than a tiny little blip at home. I guess it would have been in July. July was the last like time we were actually at home for a significant amount of time, but I am, I'm exhausted. And you know, my fit, like I'm like swollen. I hurt, I'm tired, I'm not sleeping. My aura ring is like screaming at me every day telling me I'm dying. I'm like, I literally do this to myself all the time where my, I scream create a travel schedule that's unsustainable for um, my health and life goals. Like, I just can't keep it up. And I don't know how people do this all the time. I, I think of people who, like, commute, like, on an airplane for a living. Like, people you hear stories. I've never, like, met someone who does this. But people who, like, travel across countries in the country every week for their work. Like, those people who have, like, the million mile tags with an airline. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> do you sleep like what is that life like just these things i think about often anyway i get to this point where i kind of bubble up and boil up my body gets exhausted whatever and then i just feel sad when i'm not feeling good i don't poop for like a week straight you know it's those weird things i just i need to buckle down i'm actually looking forward to going home i have one more i have one more little trip after this which is crazy 
and then I'm done. You know, I'm gonna really like sit and reflect on my life for 2025 and we can cross that bridge when we get there. Um, but until then, I'm really looking forward to like the hot girl winter life. I feel like I need to make that happen, but I, I wanted to talk to you guys about that earlier. I wanted to make that happen for November, but just with this little back-to-back -back trip hopping that we've been on, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I'm too tired. I really was looking forward to it. I wanted to be good about it. Also, I don't think I showed you in the vlog, but we've actually been working out while we've been here. We packed our tennis rackets, like we've done it all while we've been in Toronto, which has been so nice, but I was saving that, saving that for another bed, okay? So we'll we'll chat more about that after. We've got a couple more things coming up while we're here in Toronto, I'm very excited. Um, but just really wanted to give this like color analysis video its own home so that you guys could see it and we could chat about it. So you just have to let me know your thoughts and then we'll we'll discuss other things. We'll show you all the, the workouts and things that we're doing and then our final little exciting plan for the weekend, so can't wait thank you all so much for being here as always i love you all dearly let's have a chat and i'll see you all very very soon for a new video thanks for watching <laughs>